Have you thought maybe you're using hard water to wash your hair? Hey my amazing people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I say welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, God bless you. Thank you for coming back. In today's video, we'll be talking about why your hair is always dry. I know guys, I know some of you have been going through this some of you have been experiencing dry hair that is why most people can't maintain that their natural kinky afro hair they think it's hard to maintain the hair because they constantly find the hair in a state of dryness and it's hard to it's hard to maintain it's hard to handle when your hair is always dry so if you have this kind of problem and if you're wondering why your hair is always dry then this video is for you watch to the end subscribe like drop your comment turn on your notification bell to be notified each time i post and sorry about my voice i know i sound horrible right now and that is because i have a block nose i've been battling with qatar hope you don't mind the number one reason why your hair is always dry is because you are using hard water to wash your hair <laughs> that was that might sound surprising to you right yeah we do have hard water and soft water and you might be using hard water to wash your hair. This hard water has mineral like calcium, magnesium, which in a long time get to build, build up in your hair and cause your hair to be strong and making it almost impossible for moisture to penetrate to your, through your hair. How do you know you're using hard water to wash your hair? After washing your hair, you will notice that there are foam combs on the floor of your bathroom, on the, on your, on the, on the wall of your bathroom. You notice brown, brown, brown residues on your on the floor of your bathroom that is called foam comb that signifies usage of hot of hard water you are using hard water that is why you're having all those combs and another sign of hard water is when you bath when you take your bath you will notice that your skin is dry your skin becomes extremely dry your skin your hair becomes dry instead of your skin to be moisturized after taking your bath you will notice that your skin is dry another sign of hard water is your 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 soap or your shampoos will lather much hard water makes it hard for your soap or your uh, shampoo to lather as well as they should do so for you to revert the effect of hard water before you use it to wash your hair is you boil it you boil your hot, your water before you use it to wash your hair and then allow it to settle down before you use it or you can install a filter a water filter in your bathroom that will filter your water before you can use it to wash your hair Another reason why your hair is probably dry is because you are using too much hot tools. Today you are stretching, tomorrow you are coiling, you are doing, you are trying different hot tools. You are drying, you are using dryers for your hair every time. You are using it consistently. You know what you are doing? You are damaging your hair. All those hot tools is damaging your hair. So if you are a type that uses hot tools every time, your hair is definitely going to be dry, no matter what. Another reason why your hair is dry is because you are not moisturizing right. Consider using a hydrating max or a conditioner. Always, always try to condition your hair after a wash day. Do not wash your hair without conditioning your hair. Use a hydrating max. When you use a hydrating max, you are bringing back the moisture that the shampoo that you used to wash your hair has taken off. You are bringing it back. So it is very important to use a hydrating max on each wash day once you start using a hydrating mat you will notice that your hair is going to be moisturized exposure to the hard weather conditions is another reason why your hair is drying up you might be going under the sun without tying up your hair and this makes your hair very dry so climate change has a big role to play with our hair but how long the moisture in our hair stays so if you're going under the sun your hair is definitely going to dry up protect your hair before going to the swimming pool or oh, wash your hair after going to the swimming pool because the chlorine inside the water will dry up your hair above all do not forget to drink enough water hydration is key start drinking water if you need your hair to grow start taking enough water do not forget hydration is key thank you for staying out for this video i love you and have a nice day mm -hmm.